Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sweet Potato Island. I thought I would show you guys what I've been doing to my face to achieve this with minimal products and minimal makeup because summer in Taiwan is so hot and I cannot bear to wear a whole face of makeup and a face mask only for me to take off my face mask and have everything stuck to my face mask. For this makeup look, I'm gonna focus more on the eyes and really not do anything about this because I've already washed my face and I've applied toner and also some serum and moisturizer. For this video, I'm gonna skip foundation completely and go straight for sunscreen. This is by Skin Food and I got this back in LA. Just gonna squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand. Apply this to the areas of my face. Next, I'm gonna go ahead for a concealer because I don't use foundation anymore. I'm just gonna apply this under my eye, not too much, a little triangle down the bridge of my nose from some highlight around my nose area because I tend to get a lot of redness and a little bit on my chin. Next, I'm gonna use a high coverage concealer. I've had this for a really, really long time. This is by The Face Shop and this is Super Cover Concealer in the shade N203. It's lasted me a really, really long time because a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna squeeze a tiny, tiny bit, like this much is all you need. And as you can see, I have a pimple in the middle of my forehead and I'm just gonna dab this with my finger. And the last part of the skin makeup is to set with a powder. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. Put it onto the cap. Using a big fluffy brush, I'm going to swirl it in, tap off the excess, and swipe it across my T-zone under my eyes. The first product that I'm gonna use is this Etude House Tint My Four Tip Brow. This is a brow marker and I like this because it's pretty waterproof. The tip looks like this, but you wanna be careful because it's very, very pigmented and it's water-based. So if you go too hard, it will look like you have seaweed eyebrows. I start by underlining the bottom. So once I've used the marker, that looks really, really dark, but it's okay, it'll get better, trust me. I'm gonna go ahead with the Kate Designing Eyebrow N, N, I think that's what it's called. It's a powder eyebrow kit, and I use this to uh, soften up the edges of my eyebrow and also fill it in. And lastly, I'm gonna go over with a spoolie from an eyebrow pencil and just smooth it out and blend it all together. So for eyeshadow, super simple. All I'm gonna use is this palette. This is by the I Meme, and it's the Multi Cube in number three, All About Juicy Peach. And I really love this because it comes in four eyeshadow shades, but the bottom, mm -hmm, is a blush. So whoever designed this deserves a raise, absolute genius. I'm gonna take the lightest shade here and I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelids. I'm just gonna use my fingers because I think this shadow works best if you apply it with your fingertips. Using this brown shade over here, I'm gonna use a pinky finger and apply this to your lash line. If you apply it close to your lash line, it creates the illusion that you have a thicker eyelashes and also it kind of looks like you have eyeliner and I'm also going to apply it to the bottom lash line. So we're going to use this shimmer shade with our middle finger and we're going to apply that to the center of our eyelids. Take the orange shade with our pinky finger again and this time we're going to apply it to the outer corners of our eyes. Next is eyeliner. 
So I'm just going to use a black liquid liner to line my eyes. And lastly, I'm going to finish off with some mascara. So that's all there is to the eye makeup. And I realized that I do want to go back and fix my base makeup a bit more. So I'm going to apply blush because I'm already using this palette. So I might as well show Oops, sorry. So I might as well show you guys what the peach blush looks like. I also don't apply too much blush because my face does tend to get red easily and I'm going to be wearing a face mask half the time anyway so I really don't have to do any makeup from the nose down. I'm going to use this bronzer by Benefit. It's the Benefit Hoola Mini Bronzer. And then you see this? This is where my natural contour is. You see where the sun hits my face. I have natural shadows and that's where I'm going to place my brush. So you can also suck in your cheeks to help. Here it is lightly go over down my jawline and I like to contour down my chin so I can get rid of that little double chin. I do think I have an at-risk chin which means if my chin isn't at sea level it looks like I have a double chin. And lastly to finish off so you get that sun-kissed beautiful glowy goddess look I'm gonna use a highlighter. This is Lunch Money by Colourpop. I've also had this for a really really long time. And lastly for my lips, apply this lavender ho horse oil from Hokkaido Japan. You want to hydrate your lips. And lip color, I'm going to go with a lip tint because that one doesn't stick to your face mask as easily. I'm going to use this one from Peri Para. The last step is to remove your hair curler and fix your hair. it for the finished look. This is my everyday go-to summer my face mask look with minimal base makeup, just a bit of concealer and some highlight and a peachy orangey eyeshadow look with matching lips.